Hello everyone, welcome to my trivia compilation for Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. If you like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments. In our first short, when Snake is following the trucks, you can inspect the others and find multiple other references. Fish. Not this one. Metal Gears. Metal Gear. Hideo Kojima, who you can recruit when you find him. Mr. Kojima. Boktai. Sunlight! Poker chips. Where are they? And even Mei When searching for Chico and Zadornov, you'll find a number of other things behind the blue doors. Nothing. People sleeping. Soldiers using the bathroom. Prisoners stuck in their cells. Mama. <laughs> and finally, Chico himself. Chico, is that you? Enjoy the trip. What's the big idea? Dragging me off in a balloon. I might as well have taken a Calibri. At least you got a nice view. Or are you afraid of heights? Whatever. I just wish you would explain it to me first. Would you have agreed to go if I did? In Maynop's mission, Travel to the Mine Base, you can find the Assassin's Box. A reference to Assassin's Creed, this box allows you to knock out soldiers from a safe box, which will wear down over time. Back in the time of the Crusades, members of the Order of Assassins used what is called the Assassin's Straw Box to hide and get close to their enemies. Drag him inside the box. You can fit up to two people inside an assassin's straw box. If you listen to all of Chico's tapes for cryptozoology and unidentified mysterious animals or UMAs, you'll be able to trigger the Isle of Monsters set of extra ops, which is the tie-in to Monster Hunter. Once you've listened to the tapes, you'll need to go to Extra Ops Mission 29, Item Capture. 
Blow up the crate, but before you head to the extraction point, you should backtrack to the pier where you'll meet a familiar furry friend. Cat. Trenya. Creatures even rarer than a talking cat. Monsters. Sorry, kitty, but I'm no hunter. Not exactly ordinary yourself. Not to be rude, but I've got things to do. So if you need someone to go monster hunting with you, find someone else. Once you've chatted with Trenia, you'll be able to unlock missions to face the Rathalos, Tigrex, and the new monster, Metal Gear Rex.
During these missions, you can also roast a ration, which will provide more health when consumed. That's a barbecue spit. To stop roasting, press the action button one more time. Hey, that looks delicious. Much like in Monster Hunter, you can also put the monsters to sleep, which will award more points towards S rank in the mission. Metal Gear Rex doesn't just stay down forever though, you will have to fight it two more times in different arenas in harder difficulties. Last night, a Gear Rex came ashore on the southern Pacific coast of Costa Rica. From there it headed north and reached the vicinity of Irasu's crater around noon today. As of now it stopped moving. Costa Rica doesn't have an army to deal with threats this big. We're getting dozens of reports of damage to nearby houses and other buildings. For the sake of peace in Costa Rica, we need you to head to the crater and get the Gear Rex under control. Once you've met all the monsters, you'll be able to hear from Chico all about the Metal Gear versions of them. Snake, legend has it, a place called Isla del Monstruo is near Costa Rica. Isla del Monstruo? It was discovered in the 18th century by Caribbean pirates sailing over to the Pacific. And the island in Treasure Island? It's based on one near Costa Rica, too. Ah, Treasure Island. I remember reading that. You've read it, too? Ah, oh, that makes things easier. In Nicaragua, we, too, have a story about a group of pirates that encountered a flying monster out at sea. Some even say they landed on this monster island, though we still don't know exactly where it is. 
that's the reason I've always wanted to come to Costa Rica. Ha, <laughs> I see. Ooh, ooh, I heard another story about a talking cat that lives somewhere in Costa Rica. They say it'll take you to this place. Oh, mm, interesting stuff. Want to know more about the island? Maybe later. If I'm headed that way, you can fill me in. Okay, just let me know. Have you heard the legend about the dinosaur that came back to life as a zombie and attacked people? Zombie? You mean the living dead? Yeah. Dinosaurs may be extinct, but technically it would be possible for one to come back to life as a zombie. Not so fast. Dinosaurs were real. Zombies, not so much. What are you talking about, boss? Zombies have been used as slaves on Haitian plantations for years. In Haiti? They've handed down a secret zombie powder for generations. Really? People from long ago must have used that same stuff on dinosaur remains. But dinosaurs had been extinct for millions of years before the first humans. That hypothesis has to be wrong. In any case, the zombie was incredibly powerful. Its name was Gear Rex. They say nothing could kill it. Some say its bodily fluids would burn right through your flesh. Then the spines that fell off his back would impale you. The pain made even worse by the deafening roar rattling every bone in your body. You sure it wasn't just some really strong monster? Who knows what kind of dinosaurs were out there? We could be talking about something strong enough to resist small arms fire. Are you afraid of zombies, boss? No, I just find the whole thing hard to believe. I used to have this book full of pirate lore. It had the story about Rathalos, king of the skies. Most accounts describe it as a dragon with wings, or a wyvern. A wyvern? A two-legged dragon. Vlad the Impaler's coat of arms had one on it. Yeah, and he was a model for Count Dracula. There are reports of ships being attacked out in the middle of the ocean. So Rathalos must be able to fly great distances. And what's more, Rathalos is said to breathe fire. Breathe fire? An animal like that can't possibly be real. We're talking about a monster, Snake. Forget what you think you know. Tigrex is a flying dragon just like Rathalos. But it's good at moving around on land, too. It can blast you with rocks from a distance or rush at you with incredible speed. People have seen it on land? See. Si. It's said that these two lady pirates, Anne and Mary, visited Isla del Monstruo. It was there that they did battle with Tigrex. Anne was quite a marksman, wasn't she? Must have been a heck of a battle. I wish I'd been there. You know, I'm not so bad with guns myself. I've already seen how good you are. Anne and Mary also saw little dinosaurs running around the island. Velocipres? Yup. As you'd expect, they're very nimble, but no match for a firearm. You wouldn't want to get surrounded by them, though. I'll bet. Nobody wants to be outnumbered in battle. Right. Your best move would be to make sure they cannot encircle you. Well, stealth is the basis of all solo sneaking missions. While it makes battle tougher, working alone has its advantages when it comes to infiltration. That's what makes you the boss, boss. You don't need any advice from me. Not bad for an old-timer, eh, Chico? <laughs> nope. Still, be careful. Chico, I, uh, I met that talking cat. The legendary Trenya? Really? Trenya, yeah, that's what it called itself. Is it famous? In certain circles, yeah. I'm still having trouble believing it. I never thought I'd be talking to an animal one day. What a world. Amazing you could understand his language. Uh, picking up the local lingo is one of the basics of intelligence work. That's what makes you the boss, boss. Hey, say something in Trenya's language, will you? Uh, meow. Uh, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Wow. I have no idea what you're saying. Of course you wouldn't. So, 
So what did Trinya say? Uh, it said it would take me to that island you talked about. <gasps> really? Oh, oh, take me to boss, please, please! I know you must be excited, but we don't know what's out there. Could be dangerous. I'll scout it out first. Ah, no fair. Come on, Chico. This isn't as cut and dry as you think. You can come next time, depending on what I find. I'll take some photos if I get the chance. Sorry, kid, but that's life. Apparently, there are other cats that talk besides Trenya on Isla del Monstruo. There's more of them? Yep. They're called the felines. But supposedly they don't ever come to Costa Rica. You should try talking to them if you spot them. Who knows what kind of stuff they have to say? Yeah, just when you think things can't get any crazier. Also, the felines are nice to humans. So you be sure and be nice back. Don't you go attacking them or anything. I would never hurt a defenseless little kitty. There are multiple magazines in Peace Walker, the majority of which work how you expect. When placed down, they will distract soldiers, allowing you to sneak up behind them. You can also obtain the Cookbook, which distracts not only soldiers, but also monsters. Don't move. Ah! There are multiple cardboard boxes in Peace Walker, each with different purposes. Some of them can only be fully utilized in co-op missions. The love box can be used by two people at once.
The tank box allows you to shoot from the front, and if used in co-op, to fire the tank missile at enemies. The stun and smoke boxes, when opened by an enemy, can serve as a last-minute distraction to get out of danger. And finally, the ambulance or health box allows you to recover health as long as you're inside. When doing the Dead Men's Treasure missions, you can smoke grenade the bodies to avoid being spotted and take down the ghosts. So we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. Snake wears many outfits. The tuxedo and swim trunks will both beg questions from your team, though. If there's enemy scouts around here, they'll be nearly impossible to see. If anything looks suspicious out there, check it out. Have you lost your mind? What kind of gorilla goes around in something like that? Whoa! Look out, ladies! Whoa! What are you all dressed up for? Hey! That looks good on you. Maybe if I wore one, she would... Looking good, Snake. A bandana with a tuxedo. <laughs> okay, if it's that important to you. Oh, very classy. We should throw a party once this is all over. Careful. If there's enemy scouts around here... They'll be nearly impossible to see. If I keep training, one day I'll look like that too. Hey, Snake, put some clothes on. Lab, let me guess. You're wearing our prototype stealth camo, right? Wait, you're not wearing anything? What? Snake, you're our commander. The least you could do is dress like one. The mosquitoes are gonna love you. Do you want to get malaria? Look at you. Ah, don't tell me you are still going around like that. Snake will be able to date two of his companions, Paz and Kaz. To S rank these missions, you'll need to pick positive callouts that will build up affinity.
Good to have you. Yeah! I'm going with you. Yeah! Not bad. Thanks. Peace. Yeah! Room for one more? Past it. Once you have S ranked this mission, if you return in your swim trunks, you will see Paz in their underwear. When you date Kaz, you'll be able to build affinity in the same way. With Kaz, though, he's much more receptive to all your voice lines and requires less of them for S rank. Yeah, I mean, I've got MSF business to think about and all. Sometimes it's nice to just sit and watch the sunset, you know? Uh, yeah. Snake, um, would you be up for going to the coast to watch the sunset? Just the two of us? Arigato. You're pretty good. Kept you waiting, huh? Can't wait any longer. I knew you had it in you. Naturally. You sweet dreams. You mean in your arms? That's good stuff. This is fantastic. Don't die on me. I'm not going to die on you. Good to have you. Hey, come on now. We're friends, aren't we? Good work. Arigato. Impressive. Cut it out. You're making me blush. I like it. I like you too. Going with you. Right. Fox time. Yeah. Ooh, got room for two?
Glad to be with you, boss. S-ranking boats will give you new costumes and items. Kept you waiting, huh? Can't wait any longer. Kaz responds positively to CQC, unlike Paz, and will also gain affinity this way. If you pat down Kaz, you'll even gain access to the Patriot specification. I never told you. Start talking. You were always my... Start talking. I got nothing to hide. Start... I got... You can also lie down on Kaz to hear both his sleep talking and your team's negative responses. Finally, you can find the female version of the swim trunks on the pier nearby during the Kaz date mission. Maybe we were meant for each other. Whoa. After completing the dates, you'll be able to view Cecile, Paz, Strangelove, and Amanda in their underwear in the model viewer.
The character design of Cecile was based on Konami France communications manager Cecile Caminades, but that's not the only reference. Never heard the name Cosima before. Then again, I don't know many people from France. Is it a common name? No, not that common. But Wagner's second wife was named Cosima Francesca Gaetana Wagner. Huh. You know, Kojima is a common last name in Japan. Kaz. It's just funny how, you know, I'm part Japanese and Cecile's middle name is so close to Kojima. It feels like destiny unfolding. <laughs> you think so? Oui, oui. That's a beautiful name you have. Cecile Kosima Kaminades. Wait a second. Cecile Kosima Kaminades. Kosima Kaminades. Hey, that's close to... Close to what? Your name. It sounds almost like the sentence Kojima Kaminandes in Japanese. And what does it mean, s'il vous plaît? Well, Kami is the word for God in Japanese. Nandesu. Well, it's hard to explain, but placed after God, it would turn the sentence into is God. Okay, so? Kojima is God. Cecile's name is a message. I don't believe it. Kojima is God. Kojima is God. Um, cuz. There's some interesting interactive cutscenes. One where you can shoot at Amanda. View a broken leg. Everyone except Chico. Please. Make things jiggle. You know, soldier. I am a tourist. What's your name? Please. What are you doing here? See Strange Love's true love. You all say the same thing. And see the Mark III and Metal Gear Rex. They can only follow simple commands, though. Why build them here? For the CIA. They invited me here a year ago. That's who that guy was. Huey will mention his fear of water, which would be referenced in Metal Gear Solid 2, when Huey would attempt to drown Emma Emmerich while Hal, his son, with strange love, was having an affair with his new wife. Wonder why. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't leave you. Because of the accident, I had... I had a relationship with your mother. She seduced me. And it went on. My father's death was no accident. He took his own life. It was my fault, all my fault. Forgive me, Emma. You can find the Puyan games, which are a reference to the Konami game of the same name. In these ops, you'll need to shoot down Fultoning soldiers to gain points. By shooting down the balloons. We're calling this the Puyan mission. Support our troops. Shoot those balloons.
If you want to recover vehicles at 100%, you can try this tactic. Instead of fighting head-on, sneak up behind them, hold up the soldiers, and Fulton them away. If you do this enough times, the commander will pop their head out early if you've gone undetected. You can simply fault in the commander afterwards if you take them down. This works on both armoured vehicles, tanks, and helicopters. You can obtain the Tanagashima. To do this, you need to defeat the Monster Hunter crossover boss, the Rathalos, until you get an intact Rathalos wing. You will then need to find a soldier with the Japanese Patriot trait. Once you've done this, you'll be able to build the musket provided you have the requisite R&D level. The musket has a 1 in 3 chance of spawning a tornado much like an MGS4, but it will also fault in its target leading to some interesting dialogue. If you enjoyed this video be sure to check out my other trivia compilations for the other Metal Gear games and see you next time.